shocked. I did all that shit for you. Shouldn't he have to call it a junior arena act? A junior arena tour? I mean, this is a, it's half the size of an arena, right? Jules? Half, half the size of an arena, right? This is like where like a fake hockey it's team. It's like a college arena. Yeah, like a college arena. That's nowhere near the size of where Kendrick Lamar plays. Hey, hey, hey. So I think we'll what happened there. is that almost all the bucket pulls were people who'd never done stand up <gasps> before. So that usually makes wow. so many people. So it made, yeah, it made the show bad because you got to have something good. You can't just have guys bombing for 40 minutes, right? And then it's just an open hair. mic that sucks. That. That's incredible. that came straight from Sadness, I can't wait baby. to watch this. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> every person that comes out makes it, it worse. The audience is turning. <laughs> Whoa. And Tony's not. You can see he's Crowd uncomfortable. needs to be way more aggressive with the booze. Wow. Terrible oh, night. Oh, and Red Band knows. Look, Red Band knows. Oh, come on. Ooh, and when it's all black people doing this, too, they get tired of that. But I digress. Uh... What about uh, stand-up? Let's hear Phil. To you. Well, you know what? When my husband left me for a man, Stop it ain't too much shit stand-up can't say to you. Oh, my. we'll be right back again. Oh, that's what? his big thing. Every five minutes, we'll be right back, and they die. <laughs> they die. You know how many podcasts do that? And <laughs> we'll be right back, <laughs> and then they don't. Glassman, countless others, me, everyone. He does this every five fucking seconds. And they die. They love it. None of them have seen Dr. Phil. They're too young. One, two, three. That. You are adorable. Look at you, you Thank little you. fucking Mississippi fucking. Oh, oh Mississippi whoa. fucking what? You're lucky oh she dropped something because you had nothing. Follow up question. Uh, Mississippi the, the fucking. The husband that left you for a guy. Did, was there something Not about the way got. you were, you know, sucking him off that made him want a guy's mouth instead? Hell no. He ain't got shit to do with me. I just ain't have what he want because I can't grow a dick. Well, not with that mm. attitude. Getting quiet. This is an arena. It should be. You've heard so hockey kind of games, are you right? Into? What's your, like, current dream guy? Great question. Because you're, you're special. My beautiful man left his job in Mississippi to follow me all the way here in Austin, Texas. Wow. He's right up there. Oh, shit. Where's he at? Amazing. Yeah. Ooh, said, Tony's getting job. mad. Tony's she getting mad. Hell yeah. Ooh, he, so, this like, isn't exciting. It's, it's not as big and glamorous as you thought, oh is it, Tony? He's one of the darkest human beings. So this show here tonight was gl more glamorous than this shit. I don't see any gold. Uh, oh, I've got exactly like only one more left. Him. Look at that. Yeah. Look at his shadow at 114. Sorry, it was in full I zoom. can't tell which one's which. That motherfucker. Black people, is they can't see dark. only the teeth. We've heard this one. Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. Okay, oh, Tony. Oh my god. Look He's struggling that. to come That's up. He can't. He's in the mud. I can tell. Him. Tony's in that state where he, you know it goes a little bad, and then you can't figure out what to well, say it's on the tip of your else. i've heard of a doja cat i never heard oh. of a doja cougar before this well, is well shit you better oh. know it oh my Meow. oh damn all right wow okay and my name nikki oh shit but my name ain't nicole wow my goodness gracious uh have your kids heard you do uh jokes do they know you're funny or do you, are you <laughs> to them? like what do Got you say em. are you this wash it down kids Little ears. All the time. All day, every day. <laughs> Good for you. Okay, get her off stage like and in jail. Please. I gay, I, I don't do pussy. No I reason like a person like this needs to exist in this world. Boys who just want to climb the trees. I ain't want to eat no pussy. Okay. Wow. And ride yeah. motors. Even Ray is struggling. Yeah, that was the same way. No pussy, well, just all trees. Yeah. Ray is not I having a good time. When, he, when Ray is doing yeah. good, he's celebrating himself. That's <laughs> yes. how you know he's doing good because he's dancing for joy at the fact that, oh, you're actually laughing? They actually like it because he can't believe it. He bombs out everywhere. This is the only crowd where Ray goes, what the fuck? Are they? <laughs> Wait, is this like a joke? They really like me. Whoa. This is... And then he really lays it on thick and over. He does it and takes himself right to that fucking edge where he can throw it all away. That's the real Ray. So I know he's not doing too well. <laughs> and they're just going boom, bop, bop, bop. Listen to the, the man. It's just going. Oh, oh, stinky. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Seriously, one of my favorite things. Well, we're we talking do? about Tony. Should we quickly take a look at his office? 
this was insane. I, I really don't know what to say. Um, I've heard Tony speak about his office. Tony has set himself up, and he doesn't use this for content. Where have you heard him speak about it, by the way? I forget. Do you I've what heard. Podcast? I want to find no, that. No, just over the year. Okay. I think I've heard him go, in my office, I'm going to. And I remember it sounded really tacky. And then I go, oh. And I even remember back then going, this motherfucker is probably setting up an office with a real big chair. He wants to pretend like he's uh, Dana White, you know? And I've always imagined that Tony. Just to like tell William Montgomery one thing, he'll be like, let's, you know what, one, well, how about you come to my office tomorrow? Yes. In fact, we'll have a meeting. You know, he's built an office. He wants to use it. You know, and he can't use it on Rogan. Rogan ain't coming to his office. Red Band knows he doesn't need to come to the office. So he's got to abuse these William Montgomery's. David Lucas is probably sat in the chair like this. Oh God, oh God, oh God. And when you see this place, you're going to realize how inappropriate... <laughs> It would be to call someone over there to pretend you're a big shot in the Austin suburbs. God knows what fucking city an hour and a half out of Austin. We got a sneak peek into one of the rooms, one of the upstairs guest bedrooms. Think about this. If you're a man and you're broadcasting from a guest bedroom, then you're just a guest in my world. Of podcasting, okay? <laughs> you haven't made it. Tony, by the looks of this room, I could tell you have to go up a carpeted set of stairs to get to it. So not only does he make these guys show up an hour out of the city, you know, they're still living in rentals in the city. They can't buy houses like Tony and his farm development. <laughs> they drive an hour and a half out there just so Tony could bullshit David Lucas so that he could use his office. David Lucas then has to walk up the, you know, curve, the curled staircase. And imagine this, Derek. I can imagine Tony's house. You walk in, it's a big gaudy entrance with not a double staircase, but one staircase on the side that has like a big railing on top. And then the bedrooms are off to each of the sides. And then if you look through, it overlooks the living room on the other, you know what I mean? And then they got to climb those carpeted stairs to go to the guest bedroom where Tony has created this. Let's show his office. You're not going to believe. Oh, wait, this is the video. I need the screen. Oh, good enough. Tony has put out an ad from his office. He's obviously been sitting on this office for months. He's dying to show us how baller he is. So we finally did an ad for um, DraftKings in the office. This is not a joke. Look at this. There it is. Can you see this? <laughs> this is Tony's desk. He got a custom desk with a giant gold H. But it doesn't stop there. To show you how custom this badass baller desk is. He has engraved not one, but two skulls. I didn't know he was into skulls. So they were like, do you want any engravings on it? Because we can make it anything you want. And he's so uncreative. He's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I probably should have something, you know, to make it look custom. Uh, skulls? I oh, are you into skulls? Oh, oh, yeah, no, I'm big into... Why? Why are you into skulls? Maybe he saw this skull desk out at some store and oh, thought it was so sick and then he added yes, the H, that's what I it hope. Is. Yeah, he saw the skull desk on a magazine on his airplane. Dude, oh my God. If I got this for my office, it would be uh, over. For who? But who would it be over? He's got a lot for? of extra skulls up top. I mean, yeah, he's Oh, yeah, I'm going to show... So he's got this big gold H, Okay. Now, I want you to really take a look at the room. You could tell this is in a guest. I'm hoping it's in a guest bedroom. You could see the, uh, this is kind of that Austin, Texas. Yes, they consider this a nice house, but drywall everywhere. You know, your office really shouldn't have blank drywall behind. Go to show them the back of my office. 
Show them the jewels, the back of my office. Sorry, here. I got distracted because someone just said Tony just walked off stage. No, he did But not. I don't know if it was like a serious walk well, off just, or not. Can you follow up with that guy? Tony just walked off stage. They're saying follow up to see if it's serious. Yes, just I with asked that him guy. If it was crazy. But show them. And this is what the back wall of your office. Walnut. <laughs> so you don't sit in front of some cheap drywall. Uh, it's just a no-no. So let's cut to the room. He's got three pieces of hustler art that were purchased at the same time. God knows what these images portray. This is the only shot we have at the office, but you could tell this is some hustler art. If you zoomed up, there'd be some dice in the art. There'd be the Monopoly man, right? There'd be actual Maybe it's art cash. of Tony himself it on could stage be. split into three. Oh look, there's my an God, arm, it looks like an arm and holding. <gasps> and yes, that looks like one of Tony's shirts. Oh my God. He did hustle art of himself. It's probably like in Biggie art color. You know how they do art of Biggie <laughs> that looks all shitty? It looks like it's three paintings of Tony on stage doing stand up. It is. I mean, it is. I bet you. They could find that shirt. Look, this is the shirt. Look, this is one of his sweater vests with the uh, fucking, I mean, come on. It's a Who long would neck it be? guy. Long neck guy holding a microphone in this one over here. And up here is his big head. And it's done in notorious B.I.G. bullshit art tones. Okay, let's keep going with the desk. He thought it would be badass to put... A reserved placard. Imagine if I fucking had that. Wait, but you're supposed... Wait, scroll out again? Yeah. So he wanted a little sign that says the desk of Tony Hinchcliffe's, but he didn't get that for some reason. Instead, I got reserved. Instead, he <laughs> got a saying? reserved sign that you put on a table at a restaurant. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That he didn't have the, the desk is placard. reserved. God forbid William H. Montgomery comes in. He didn't see that sign. He would have thought, oh, I have a home and a desk. <laughs> yes, of course it's reserved. That's not a badass desk sign. That is a sign that you see, used to see, in restaurants, a sign that they don't even do anymore because they've got it taken care of on computers. <laughs> they don't let you just sit wherever you want, so they don't need to put out these signs. I haven't seen a sign that says reserved. By the way, that's a big-ass reserved sign. You even, I think you custom made it to say reserved. <laughs> you went on to a desk placard site where it should say Mr. Hinchcliffe. It almost you said, looks like I'll take a reserved. stack of reserve signs that he can put out at multiple tables. Oh, my gosh. Well, that would change everything. Um, the desk continues. On each side of the desk, we have more skulls. Now, I love skulls. I think they're really freaky and scary. But uh, I don't know if I'd have this many skulls. You've already got two engraved on the desk. Now you've got one here. Another here, a smaller skull, and you don't have any balance here. They're not really centered. He's breaking another up with a nice gold chest skull. Piece. So you got three skulls, but shouldn't there be one more skull here? If you're right, skull here on the end, skull here on the middle, skull here on the middle, and there should be one more skull. <laughs> that one dropped. We're getting it repaired. <laughs> He's got what is this? His iPad set up on an iPad stand. What is this here? Something to hold his pens? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. I found one. A chess piece. No fucking joke. The golden so pony. We have gone full Oppenheim Brothers. You guys do realize if, if you think chess pieces look cool, you like the look of chess, you've been raised wrong. Oh, you know Chess pieces are the ugliest, not art. You can't decorate your house with chess pieces. You could use no other board game piece to decorate with. Chess, it should be obvious. This looks terrible. It looks like a chess piece. Now, what does this piece represent, Jules? You would know chess. The golden pony, of course. Oh, that's it? I so mean, it's I don't, not a I chess mean, piece. It it's is just, a chess piece, but I'm assuming that's okay, what you Okay, but what does one. the pony, the the... Horse in I mean, chess represents. It moves in an L. It moves in an L? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, there you go. 
So he's got the L chess piece. Wow. Perfect. Um, let's watch the video and then we'll go back and we'll examine him and the chair, of course. We're leaving <laughs> those for the end. Let's see the video. Oh. Oh, wait. Who is it? On the corner and I can Oh, not. somebody. What? What's going on? Oh, oh wait. Who is it? I'm seeing a whole new vision okay. of this picture. Oh. Oh, sorry, we I'm saw a little zoom. Oh, okay, let's play it one <laughs> okay, time sorry, full, sorry, sorry. and then we'll go zoom in on all this stuff. Fans, another action-packed weekend around the corner, and I could not be more excited. Title fights are going down. With Leon Edwards. Look how low he's sitting at his own office. I can't even get my chair to go that low. It, it's up to his nipples. His desk is up to his nipples, and he's sitting like a little kid in a giant gold Vegas mall store chair. The same type of mall store that would trick Michael Jackson. You know, Tony thought, I bought this luxury chair from a luxury brand. Where did you get that? Caesars Palace, where all the high-end furniture stores are. It's a Caesars Palace style. He was walking through the airport. They had a goofy store that was selling this. He goes, call them and arrange a truck. Um... It's this giant gold. God knows what the actual shape is, but look, it almost makes like angel wings. Yeah, I was going to say. On the side, it makes him look like an angel, but look how low he's sitting. So obviously he bought this chair and he bought the desk. They didn't go together. And of course it's not the right height. So does he fix it? Does he put the desk on lifts? Does he put the chair on a lift? Uh, or I meant, does he lower to the desk? Does he put the chair on a lift? no. He sits like a little boy. I can't even imitate it. My chair don't go that low. He sits like try, a little try. boy. Go on it your did. knees. Go on your knees. I can't. I, it would ruin the cords. Just try. No, it. it would wrinkle my shirt. I'm not trying that. You I would can end drop up. down just to your knees right now. Hold, put your hands on no, the No, this cord will not reach. It won't He's reach from being up. up. It won't reach. It's going to pull out. <laughs> um. Instead of doing these things to raise him up to a mature height like myself, he decides to sit low. Now, on top of that, he puts on these glasses. On top of that, he puts on this hat. I don't need to explain about those things. You know why they're wrong. Let's see the video. He's doing a DraftKings ad. Burns defending against Kill Tony fan Colby Covington. Look how short he is in the desk. Now you get to really see it. Against Kill Tony fan Brandon Roybal. We have a chance to come out with two huge wins this weekend. So I know the who I'm betting for, the Kill Tony people. And you can make your bets official right now by downloading. He's got, look at the cards. The cards embroidered under the shirt or those screen printed on it. Embroidered. I mean, he's really lost his way. Do we have an update on this rumor you heard that Tony walked off stage? I think stage? he just went to go do something in the back and That's came back. It. It had nothing yeah. to do. There so this no guy outburst. screamed and shouted, give me the man's name no, who no, said he, he left stage. He didn't know before it he happened. Knew. He knew. I could have known, I'm sure. Something. Okay, maybe he thought. Please let us know if there's any changes in Tony's behavior to <laughs> Well, there he is at his desk. Pretty fucking cool. And who is it in the poster? I can't believe I thought that that person's yeah, Who could chin it be? If anyone Tony's knows neck. who's in the poster, I know because that looks very strange now that I see it. It's like a man with a mouth right above his neck, right? It's like a guy with a collared yeah. shirt and then his mouth is here. Yeah, I'm sure it's something.